वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई हैव दिस नाइस बिग साइज ग्लास प्लेट एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू डू सम डिकुपाज वर्क ऑन दिस आई वॉन्टेड टू डू द बैक साइड डिकुपाज आई वॉन्ट टू गीव दिस एज जस्ट अ सर्विंग प्लेट सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू गो अहेड एंड स्टार्ट विद द डिकुपाज वर्क ऑन दिस सो आफ्टर माई लॉन्ग time on which tissue i want to use i decided on this one and i do not want to add any color to it because i love the design print of this particular piece and i have been eyeing on this since long so today is the day when i'm going to use it now for uh, the back side decoupage first i am going to use my mod podge and then my decoupage tissue but before that i'm going to make sure that i remove all the plies of this tissue so that uh, once i'm done with my uh, mod podge work i can directly stick my tissue a little quicker now this is the one ply and just see that this one is so 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 big and i need to remove the second ply also maybe i can find it from some other end so uh this decoupage tissue is really big so i will be having some extra portion on my glass plate but then don't worry we are going to remove that later on we will be trimming that off but right now i really don't want to uh decide on uh, how and where i want to have my design cause this has a really nice floral pattern on all the four sides and i love it i like i said i have been eyeing on this tissue paper since long actually i got this for a uh, one of my another project which is still pending so i thought let me use this on my plate so these are uh, not going to be the dishwasher safe or like you can't wash these uh, plates because i'm going to use a regular uh, mod podge i don't have a dishwasher so i was not sure if the mod podge the dishwasher mod podge will work with my regular cleaning so there was no point of uh, doing that at this stage so i have decided that i will be using my regular mod podge for this and i hope that will work cuz i can always clean that with my uh regular wipe and i can just dab clean it with a damp cloth so here is my plate this is completely clean and very very neat and here is my mod podge and here is my brush now whenever you are doing a mod podge work on the surfaces where you are uh, sticking your tissues you need to make sure that you have a medium size brush not the very big size not the very small size with the bigger size you tend to uh, tear off your tissues very fast and with the smaller ones you need to uh, apply too many coats too many uh, strokes which we definitely want to avoid so i will be using my paint brush the medium size and my mod podge now let me just take my stool cuz i am sure this is going to take some time <coughs> so here i am going to apply generous amount of mod podge i need to switch off my fan it's really hot in bangalore nowadays so i have to keep my fan on but definitely i don't want my mod podge to dry that quick and that's the reason i have to switch it off So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply all my mod podge on the complete area and then I'll be sticking my paper and I also want to make sure that I don't leave any of the spaces for my mod podge because I really want to stick my paper well and I also want to make sure that I don't uh, have my mod podge inside because I don't want any of my tissues to be visible from inside so 
basically I don't want any folds on my tissues for this project I am doing this a little quicker because I don't want my Mod Podge to dry as it's already too hot here in Bangalore it is really really hot nowadays guys so I need to be a little quick 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 now with the brush you can always remove the extra Mod Podge it's super easy just give some more strokes and all your extra Mod Podge is there back on your brush so that's super easy I'll just give it a wet coat again and now the fun part begins now I'm going to stick my paper upside and now I'm going to stick my paper upside down and I need to be really good with this so I am just going to align this randomly and yes it is almost done you need to be really 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 gentle because uh, decoupage tissues they are really thin and we don't want any wrinkles here for sure and we don't want any lines here so I need to make sure that I press it really well and you can see my print is already very much visible here now I will take a plastic sheet so that it becomes easy for me to press down my paper and it will be a little quicker maybe I can hold my paper like this okay <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm just pressing it from upside down so that I have very less wrinkles yes it is going to have some wrinkles um, I don't know if there is a way that you cannot have wrinkles when you're working with the slopey area but for me right now I have some bubbles on the wrinkles on the sides so I am using my plastic sheet and this is definitely helping me out. So this is done and I need to make sure that my edges have stick really well. Now what I am doing is with my fingers I am just dabbing wherever I see the wrinkles or the bubbles so that it presses down really well and it's not that prominent. I really want to see the front side because it's the first time I'm doing it on a plate and I'm super excited too so uh, you should not just press your paper because your uh, Mod Podge is going to come on your plastic sheet just give a easy dabbing to it I love using my sponge dauber but uh, nowadays I have tried plastic sheets and I'm loving this also equally. So if you can just see I'm giving just a small press to my paper and this is actually helping my plate to have very less wrinkles. And now I need to keep it to dry for at least couple of hours and I will be back. This is how it looks after two hours. It has dried out completely and now it's time to remove the extra paper. For that I'm going to take up my scissor and cut the extra tissues from the sides. And I need to be a little careful because obviously I want them to be as perfect as I can. So I will keep my scissor aligned to my plate and I'll cut this now you can see somewhere I could not stick my paper properly but no problem I am going to do one more coat of gist or mod podge and I'm going to make sure that I stick all these snacks corners which were left 
and I stick it well to my base. So here my cutting work is done and now it's time to apply another layer of Mod Podge but before that I need to keep something at the bottom so that I can keep it a little up so that it becomes easy for me to stick the edges and again with my flat brush I'm going to apply my Mod Podge. I'll, this time I'll start from the side so that I can stick all the corners and the edges which were not sticked properly on the first go and I'll just take my Mod Podge run it right like this and then I'm going to run it on the opposite way and I'm going to stick my paper well now wherever you feel you have some extra paper you can always cut it off don't worry this is just your decoupage project nothing is going to happen and yeah if required you can turn it tear it off with your fingers it's absolutely fine I hope you like this project and if you have any queries please do comment down on the section and I will be more than happy to help you guys. I have listed all the supplies down in the description box and yes please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.